What is up guys, James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a reading for all my Virgo sun sign friends. If you're born between the dates of August 23rd and September 22nd then you are a Virgo sun sign and this reading is for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the month ahead for the month of December for all Virgo sun signs and this spread is going to tell us what past, present and future energies you have surrounding you, what to hold on to and let go of in the upcoming month and what lessons and obstacles are going to be on your path in the month of December. Basically this spread is going to give you all the information you need to make December the best month possible. So I hope to bring some healing through that. Um, Speaking of healing, let's introduce you to some of my crystals. I've got my sodalite sphere here, which I keep with me on the table for every reading. So you guys are familiar with sodalite over here. Then I wanted to inject some energy and vitality to this reading. So I brought some energy in infused crystals. This is the Heliodor. And this one is a natural citrine. Both of these crystals give off a very vibrant, sunny day type feel to them. So I brought them along to help us out with this reading. Uh, today we're going to be using the Llewellyn Tarot, and uh, this is a tarot deck that I've had for quite some time, but it's only recently become fully customized. Yes, I trimmed the deck and I edged the borders here. Ah, fully customized finally. So, if you would, please give me a moment to center myself and ask the tarot cards the question, what are the energies surrounding Virgo sun signs in the month of December? All right, that ought to do it. We'll cut the deck. We're going to deal out eight cards. Alright, and while we're at it, we're going to consult the Psychic Tarot of the Heart, also, also with a nice uh, edging here. And we're going to ask it what message it has for Virgo Sun Signs in the month of December. What message for Virgo Sun Signs in the month of December? And we will take a look at this card at the end of the reading. Alright Virgos, let's see what we've got here. First thing I'm going to notice is we've got two tens, we've got a lovers and a tower, so two major arcana, and an ace. Wow, this is going to be an interesting reading, I can tell already. So what we're going to do is look at these cards individually, and then we're going to go through at the end and see what they have to say to us as a whole. So we're going to start over here with this card, and this card represents the energies of last month. So the energies of November, we've got the lovers. I'm getting the sense here that November was a time for you to grow closer to those that you love, who you love. And, uh, you know, th this is a reading for a large group of people. Some of you are single, some of you are dating, others are married. Uh, so take what uh, this card means to you and apply it to your life. But the feeling I'm getting is that uh, those connections with those loved ones uh, were allowed to grow in November. And you were you got closer to the people that you're close with. You spent time with your loved ones. Um, and you know, just pure positivity coming from this card. I get nothing but positive vibes here. Uh, just uh, love. You know, for those of you who are single, this could be with your friends or for your family, uh, or maybe you know someone that you are um, have a crush on or something like that. For those of you who are in a relationship, maybe that relationship was strengthened. Uh, and you spend some time with that person in November. Uh, whichever is the case, I'm getting the feeling of good vibes, uplifting vibes, and happy vibes as a result. And uh, nothing but positivity here. So it seems like November was a good time for a lot of Virgos. So congratulations on that. Uh, let's move on over to this card, which represents the current or present energies of right now. And we've got the Ace of Cups. 
And it seems as though emotions are just spilling over here. Uh, maybe this is a result of just having such high vibrational feelings in the month of November, but I get the sense that right now a lot of you are just feeling really emotional. And uh, I do, again, get a positive sense, not negative emotional, although some of you may be in a negative place right now, and I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, but I do feel as though maybe the majority or maybe a lot of you are feeling very positive emotions right now, and you're, you're very happy and you're um, in touch with your, your emotions. And you're, you're allowing them to take place. Uh, that's a great thing to have to say because you know a lot of us will kind of negate our own emotions, we'll ignore them, and then... All sorts of, you know, bad things can come of that. So the the fact that you guys are embracing your emotions at this time is very positive. Even if they are negative emotions and they make you feel negatively, that's it's good that you're allowing yourself to experience them because the alternative is to just ignore them and stuff them down and repress them. And I don't have to tell you how bad that is for your health, okay? Your emotional, your spiritual, and your physical health. So it's good that you're uh, allowing them and you're feeling these emotions bubbling to the surface and uh, keep it going because I think uh, it's going to benefit you. As we segue, as we move into the future, this card here represents the energies of next month, energies of December. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. And the feeling I'm getting from this card is that finally... Finally, it's time to be paid off. Uh, I, I'm getting the feeling that maybe a lot of you are, have been waiting for this time, waiting for the benefits of all your hard work to come in. And uh, I get the feeling that December is going to be a profitable month for you. And for some of you, this means money. Others, it means career or job. Others, it means in acquisitions of possessions. Maybe if you're trying a new diet, uh, this means success in your new diet. Anything you can touch, any physical, tangible thing is what the pentacles represents. And the feeling I'm getting here is that of all the hard work you've put in, all the love and emotion and energy and time that you spent on creating, uh, it's going to start to pay off in December. And so December is going to be a time for you to really enjoy the fruits of your labors, literally and, I guess physically, literally and, I don't know. He's enjoying the fruits of his labors, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, congratulations on that. Very close. It looks like December is going to be a, a time for you to attract those physical, tangible things that you've been uh, looking to create in your life. So good energy all around, Virgos. Let's go on over here. Uh, this card represents what to hold on to in the month of December. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Give me a moment to uh, travel into this card. Oh, gratitude, appreciation. Virgos, I don't know if you realize this, but you've got it all right now. You have everything that you could possibly need in order to be blissfully happy right now. If you don't believe the statement that I just said, then there is something wrong in your ego mind that is telling you lies. Okay? So this card is saying, uh, show gratitude. Uh, show appreciation for the life that you have, for all the things that you have, the, the, sh the roof over your head. You've got internet access. You've got a phone or a computer. You've got food. You've got clothes. What more could you possibly need? Show gratitude for those things. Tell the universe that you are appreciative of all the, the blessings that it gives to you on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And um, that's going to lead to happiness. There's no other way it can go. <laughs> that's just going to take you on the path to happiness. If you can do that, if you can embody the energy of gratitude every single day and show appreciation for everything that you have. Every day you wake up in December, every morning, say five things that you are grateful for in your life. And that's going to set you on the right path for the rest of the day and moving into the next day. So show gratitude, show appreciation this month. And uh, the, re the universe is going to reward you with more of those things things if you show gratitude and appreciation so why not all right this card here represents the biggest hurdle or biggest obstacle you're likely to encounter in the month of december we've got the ten of cups what an odd card to come into this position so give me a moment to study this one oh again the the th the, th the theme of happiness is is uh coming through virgo friends um this, the feeling I'm getting from this card is that your biggest hurdle is going to be what I just said. Uh, not realizing how happy you are in this moment. Chasing happiness. Chasing emotional fulfillment. 
and not realizing that you have it now. Uh, human beings, we have this tendency to think that, you know, when we get this thing, then we can be happy. When this thing happens, then we'll be happy. Be happy now, okay? Be happy now. Be happy without that thing. And when that thing comes, that's going to add to your happiness. It's not going to create your happiness. So I think the biggest hurdle that you're going to face in the month of December is thinking that happiness is something that you're striving towards. You're not striving towards happiness. Be happy now. What is stopping you from happiness right now? You've got all those things. You've got a list of things you're grateful for. If you do that thing that I suggested, write down maybe, I said say, but maybe write down five things you're grateful for every morning. At the end of December, what's 30 times five? <laughs> you can have 150 things that you could be grateful for, a list of them. You can be happy right now. You don't need that thing to be happy, okay? All right, moving on. This card here represents uh, what to let go of in the month of December. And we've got the Tower card. We've got Major Arcana here. And uh, there's ups and there's downs in life, my friends. And sometimes uh the universe will deal us a, a hand that we don't want to play <laughs> okay that's no fun that uh seems to take us backwards and this card is saying that those things will happen okay there's going to be events in your life that bring sudden dramatic change that you weren't expecting you weren't ready for you didn't ask for but the thing to realize here is you don't have to let outside occurrences affect your inner happiness your inner energy. Yes, these things happen all around us. Sometimes things are good or perceived by us to be good. Sometimes we perceive things as bad, as negative. But the reality is that all the things happening to us externally are all neutral. And it's our reaction to them that determines their positivity or their negativity. So when perceived negative things happen in your life this month, realize that they are neutral things that there's a benefit to this happening there's a positive and negative to everything there's a yin and a yang to everything and if you only choose to look at the negative in a, in a perceived negative situation then you're not going to see the positive sides but if you're looking for the positives in those negative situations they will present themselves to you you will learn you will grow you will understand why that negative thing is happening and you will move on very quickly because now you're learning the lesson lessons instead of saying oh a negative thing happened to me my life is ruined now what <laughs> okay so uh, let go of that let go of external uh, events allowing them to affect you in a negative way no don't do it <laughs> you're too young <laughs> all right uh this card here represents uh the energy of the people around you in the month of december we've got the two of wands oh I think that the, the energy of the people around you are going to be kind of future focused. They're going to be worrying about what's coming next. They're going to be looking to the future for things. Uh, whereas I get the feeling that maybe you're going to be on a different wavelength. I think uh, there's more of a... The vibe I'm getting is a, a present. Uh, you're going to be worried about... Not worried, but you're going to be focused on the present moment. Whereas the people in your life... For the most part, generally speaking, individuals will be different, but for the most part, the people in your life are going to be more future focused. They're going to be looking at towards the next step, and that's going to kind of a little bit, not much, but I think it's going to affect you. It's going to bring you down kind of, whereas you're trying to worry about making the most of the present this month. Um, I think maybe if, you know, some friends or family or coworkers or whoever, you know, th this represents in your life, uh, the people in your life, if they're bringing you out of the present moment then you need to uh, do whatever it takes to get back into the present moment and if that means meditation then fine if that means spending less time with them then good uh, but do what you got to do and make sure that the people aren't taking you out of the present moment because that's what you need to focus on this month all right uh, this card here represents the biggest lesson you're likely to learn in the month of december and we've got ooh, four of swords our first sword energy of the reading and uh it's a doozy 
give me a moment with this card. Okay, Mastery of the Self. Uh, to me, this card is probably the, the meditation card. This and the Hermit is about meditation. And I think meditation is going to be the key for you this month. Like I said, we want to be in the present moment this month. There's a lot going on here, uh, Virgo friends. There's a lot happening emotionally. There's a lot happening in the external world around you. And in order to deal with these things, in order to take them as they come, you're going to have to be focused on the present. You're going to have to be present in the present. And the best way to do that is to just take a nice deep breath, exhale slowly and just center yourself on the present moment and you know that's what you can do for in a moment to moment basis if you feel things are getting out of control but also you know develop a meditative practice practice if you don't have one already spend some time in the morning or in the evening or if it works for you during the day and you know have a 5 10 15 minute whatever's com comfortable to you meditation and really ground yourself center yourself and get in touch with your higher self and get in touch with the present moment and I think you're going to find that uh, being present in the present this month is going to serve you so well. It's going to help you, um, you know, get rid of those negative ego thoughts. It's going to help you to focus on positivity. And it's going to help you stay centered and grounded when, you know, the world around you may be pretty chaotic. <laughs> okay? So now that we've seen these cards, let's uh, see what they're trying to say to us as a whole. Um, definitely feeling like some happiness from november is going to spill over till to december and as a result we're start going to start to see some progress in december you're going to see some rewards from all the hard work you've put into your relationships to your job to your hobbies you're going to see some rewards in december finally virgo friends and uh, congratulations on that it's been uh, hard work for you so i i really am glad to see this card here and this energy coming up in december so congratulations on that uh be sure that that you are showing gratitude and showing appreciation because the universe is listening and if you show gratitude and appreciation it tells the universe that you want more of that if you're showing um you're telling the universe lack and sadness the universe is going to show you more of that whatever you're vibrating at the universe will give you more of so show gratitude show appreciation write those five things down every morning and sh and just see before your eyes as that list gets longer and longer and longer all the things you have to be grateful for is a beautiful Beautiful life. So um, the biggest thing that's going to get in your way is not realizing that you have everything you need to be happy. Uh, it, it's the the idea that when something comes, then you can be happy. Get rid of that. Be happy now. And I think you're going to just see your vibration rise this month, and you're going to see so many benefits come from that. So uh, realize that happiness is here already. I don't care what situation you're in. You're living. You're breathing. You're a part of this planet, and there's no reason not to be happy right now. Um, don't let outside uh, events affect you so much. Um, you know, these, these things are going to happen. And if we allow ourselves to perceive them as negative, these outside events, then we're only going to focus on the negativity. So look at these outside events, the things happening in your life. See the positive in every single event. I don't care how long it takes, how much energy you have to expend. Find the positive in every single situation this month. It's going to help you. Trust me. Um, the people around you are going to be a little bit future focused. So if you feel their energy is grating against yours, it's okay to step back. It's okay to take some time out. Don't feel bad. It's just you're on a different wavelength. Uh, because, and you know, you might not even realize it, but you know, you spend a few days with friends and now you're worried about uh, whatever. What are you going to do on New Year's? You see, and you've taken yourself out of the present moment and you've moved yourself into the future. And that's not a good thing, Virgo friends. We want to stay present this month. And uh, the best way to do that is to meditate to whatever that means for you. Yes, it could be sitting on a mountaintop with your legs crossed, but it could also be, you know, walking through a forest. That's a form of meditation. Or dancing in a nightclub. That's a form of meditation. Anything that takes you away from the ego and puts you in closer contact with your inner higher self, that is meditation. And that is going to help you. Take a deep breath and let it out slowly and then ground yourself in the present moment as much as you possibly can in the month of December. And things are going to be looking great for you. All right, before we go, Virgo friends, we asked the Psychic Tarot of the Heart what message it had for you guys in the month of December. And we've got success and growth. This is uh, in perfect alignment with the Seven of Pentacles. I think 
I see very high vibrations from you guys. I, I get the feeling that you guys are very uplifted and you're going to be uplifted in the month of December. And that is going to pay off with success and with growth. When you allow these higher vibrations to, you know, if you embody these higher vibrations, you're going to attract things that vibrate at that frequency. And the higher you vibrate, the more success, the more growth that you're going to attract to you. And uh, keep it going, guys. I, I feel very high vibes from you guys right now, Virgo friends. And um, keep it going and see how far you can take it. <laughs> okay, see how high you can vibrate, how good you can feel. There is no limit to how good you can feel. And um, it's going to be a great month. I'm looking forward to, to seeing what you guys have to say about that. Um, cool. All right, so that is the general reading, Virgo friends. Uh, if you want a specific reading tailored just for you, then head on over to my Etsy, Etsy shop. The link is in the description below. You can just click on that. It'll send you over there. You can peruse the various readings that I offer. I want to bring healing to you. We can work together to bring healing and clarity into your life. So I'd appreciate it if you go check that out. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button. It lets me know that you did enjoy it and got something out of it. So I'd appreciate that. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about these readings. And and if you really enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I release these videos regularly. You don't want to miss out on any of the videos that I'd be releasing. So hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. All right, Virgo friends. The high vibrations are here to stay. Keep them rolling into December. Be happy now. And everything is going to be great. All right. Have a great month, Virgo friends. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy tarotting. Peace.